morning, Green Scene. My name is Cole Fulmer. I'm the publisher here in South Bay City. Last week, we sat down with Olivia Duplander at Bujo Group, and we really dove into the science side of things here with Utah Medical Cannabis. Today, we've got a special guest with us, Tyler Thompson, and he's with Boojum, but not really. He's with Mother Liquor, which is the solventless branch of Boojum Group, and they're responsible for making all the extracts, which will be on pharmacy shelves here shortly. So here to tell us a little bit more about what they have going on in the chocolate factory is not Charlie, but Tyler Thompson. He knows what he's doing. Tyler, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me, Cole. It's uh, good to be here. So tell us a little bit about what you got going on over at Mother Liquor. Yeah, so <laughs> Dash has done a really good job of setting us up a good solventless department here. Um, he's actually created his own wash machine completely to um, essentially strip the trichomes off of plant material without using any solvent. So we're using ice water and agitation to just get those trichome heads off. Um, in those trichomes, you're going to find all of your terpenes and cannabinoids, all the things that we want in our medicine, right? Um, so what we do is we do that wash, run the water we have through a bunch of screens, and that will leave us with those trichome heads at like different levels and grades. We can really go in, analyze them, pick the best ones, um, fill up one of these bags right here with them. So this is after it would go through the freeze dryer. We freeze dry the hash, sift it up, put it in a bag like this, which is just like got tons of teeny holes and it's like a screen. Um, and that's just going to get put between heat plates right here. This is our Helix Pro. It's a five ton manual press created by Peer Pressure. They're a great company. Um, so yeah, right now this is what we're using. We may have to upscale to an automated machine soon, uh, which would be the Long's Peak. It's kind of the bigger version of this. Um, but yeah, right now we just have what I think to be probably the best solvent list or maybe even only solvent list set up in Utah right now. I know we're the only ones really doing it um, so far. And we're going to have products on the shelf before anyone else for sure. And that's exciting to know because we've been getting a lot of questions from our readers, which are medical patients here in Utah, on when concentrates are going to be available. Because right now we've had a lot of flour, a lot of great flour, salves, cartridges. I know Boojum has dropped some of their, their extracts as well, the oral spray. Um, but again, a lot of our our readers want to know where where are the live resins, where are the butters, where's the shatter, and so again, we're we're talking to the guy who's getting all that ready. And with Wholesome Co. opening their pharmacy doors in Bountiful within the next week or two, can we expect to see any of these concentrates on those shelves? Yeah, absolutely. You know, on our Instagram, we've seen tons of people just wanting that purple punch and Wholesome Co's getting it. So they're the first people that are going to have that purple punch. Um, that stuff's really just amazing. The effects off it are great. They really relieve, personally, like all my symptoms that I deal with. Um, just leaves me feeling great. We're also going to be watching some orange skittles soon. So that's one to look out for. Uh, that'll be good for our people struggling with like kind of uh, depression and anxiety. It's a really uplifting, euphoric, pleasant, just great smelling, wonderful aromas. Um, and yeah, that's all going to be done solventless here. So using nothing but water and heat. Great, great strings to be working with. Purple Punch especially, really popular right now. Where yeah. are you this flower from? So we're working pretty much exclusively with Trike. Um, they're just doing a really good job at getting us what we need. Um, and we think that they've kind of got the best... A uh, variety of options. They're working with like 40 cultivars. They're doing things really kind of big scale. They're a multi-state operation. So we just feel like working with them is a really solid place to be. Well, and for a processor that's not producing your own flour, you need to be really picky on the type of flour you work with. And working with a company named Trike, you know, pun intended, they're, they have triked out flour. So it must be easy for you to work with, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I was there yesterday me and dash headed down there picked up some material but i got in there with gloves and a little magnifying glass like a thousand times get up on the trichomes i'm assessing those so we're trying to really just pick um what's not only going to yield the best from plant material to hash but also from hash to rosin so when you're working with solventless you have your first yield which is how much hash you pull from the plant and you have your second yield which is how much rosin you pull from your hash so right now we're really just uh, in the R&D phase of finding out which strains do work the best and which will be the best for uh, production for patients out here in Salt Lake. 
I guess for our, our audience that isn't aware, you're looking for flour that's a good squisher, so to speak, right? Yeah, speak, right? yeah, yeah. essentially, yeah. High resin producing. Right, and you know, concentrates makes it pretty straightforward what you're producing. You're taking flour and you're concentrating the cannabinoids and terpenes that are found in that flour to have a higher dosage, right? Absolutely. Why are these products important for Utah medical patients? I mean, for me, it's something I'm extremely passionate about. I only use solventless. Um, you, it's just when you can take a small chunk and put it in a vaporizer versus a large amount of plant material. When, you, when you're vaporizing, um, you're essentially heating up that plant material and stripping the trichomes off as you breathe, like get your leftover with like kind of black brown plant material. So you're also getting like chlorophyll and things like that. So with, with hash rods, and you just have exactly what you want. You vaporize it. It's going to vaporize pretty much 100% of what you put in there. Um, and the effects are just really full spectrum um, and just great. So. And that's what I'm looking for as a patient because, one, I don't feel I need to smoke a full joint or consume that much flour. Um, to get what I need. And this is where it concentrates live resins, butters. I can, I can consume a little and get a lot out of it. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, um, when it comes to the different types of concentrates, what do you prefer personally? Um, so it's all going to be live rosin is what I like. So that's our hash rosin. We're, we're working right now. This is just a full spectrum solventless hash rosin. Right now we're working on getting whole plant fresh frozen material. Um, it's just very new in the state. So what that would mean is they grow the plant to its full maturity. And instead of cutting it down and curing it for smoking and letting those trichome heads cure, they'll be cutting it down, throwing it into a turkey bag and right into a freezer to freeze those trichomes, catch those terpenes, so you're losing nothing. And then that'll come straight to our wash. We'll wash those off, freeze dry them, and press them, hopefully like all within a day, just to keep things as fresh as possible. Um, so when we do have that, that uh, fresh frozen material on the market, that's when people will start seeing live extract with a higher terpene profile, maybe lighter color, and some really cool consistencies that we can do. So. And, and I think you brought up a really important aspect is we're a brand new market. Um, the first pharmacy doors open their doors March 2nd. So we're still maturing and you haven't been able to do everything you want to do because you need growers to catch up. You need to have the plant material to work with. So where do you anticipate your operation to be in, let's say the next year, what are you going to be doing? Oh, <laughs> I'm extremely excited. We already have, I mean, like we said, we work with Trike. We're working with getting them to get us some whole plant fresh frozen. And it's looking like that's going to happen soon. So everything's on the up and up. We're just going to have some top shelf products for Utah patients. We're hoping to do, uh, with the rosin press, we can take that rosin and, and then do a mechanical separation afterwards, which would be pulling out the high terpene full spectrum extract portion. And that is what we're hoping we can get something great for vape carts so that people can use that without having any harmful solvents involved in the process. Um, but yeah, just uh, saltless diamonds and turp sauce too is something to look for. We're hopefully gonna have that using just different curing and heat techs. So yeah, but all just solventless goodness, everything made with water and heat. I've, I've got to ask for personal reasons because I've been hearing, you know, the past year or so when live resin cartridges started popping up in the market in Michigan and Colorado, is that something that you guys are working on? Um, the live resin, I'm not exactly sure right now. Um, that wouldn't be, resins aren't solventless technically, so that would be like a BHO. Mm -hmm. um, in the state of Utah, we're not using any butane for our processing. Um, right. It's just it's right. not allowed with the rules and regs. So right now, we, I mean, we have an ethanol extractor. I've been talking with some ideas with Dash, it's all kind of proprietary right now, but we have some, some cool ideas for, for vape carts that aren't solventless that maybe might come in at a little lower price point. Right, well, the lower price point is exciting, but the new ideas really excites me. And out of all the people that work in the industry and make this wheel go round, it's the weed nerds like you that excite me the most. See, I love being called a weed nerd. I love it. <laughs> I, and I'm not, I'm not pointing this out to be a bash, but I love that oh. you're a young weed nerd and you're brand new on the scene. And from talking with you, 
it, it doesn't feel like I'm talking to somebody brand new in, in the scene, right? So the ideas that you're going to be coming up with in the next five to 10 years, I'd really like to stay in contact with you just to see the new stuff. It's going to be cool. And yeah, absolutely. You know, it, another exciting aspect is we have people that are from Utah that are help, helping grow this, uh, this new program. When you were growing up, even in high school, not that long ago, did you anticipate you'd be working in cannabis in Utah? Never in Utah, no. I mean, I've been, pa I've been pretty passionate about cannabis for a while. Um, so I thought that maybe at some point I would be involved with it. But I mean, even like a few months ago, I was looking for jobs in other states. And this just happened like so naturally and organically. And it's just, it just really feels like a perfect fit. I get to stay in my home state. I get to help medical patients that are part of the same system as me really just get top quality medicine. And I just am so excited to be a part of it here in Utah. And I think that I can really help bring some good products to the medical patients out here. So no, we're excited that you're still here. And I think that's another big point too, is since the law has changed, I don't think we're going to be losing our talent to California, Colorado, Washington, or Oregon, or even Nevada anymore. People up, be, be a little bit more encouraged to stay here in Utah, right? Yeah, absolutely. So it's super cool. I mean, it was when, when the whole laws came out with, with, legalizing cannabis for, for medicine for people here in Utah. I was skeptical on how it was going to go. I didn't even know if waxes would be available for patients. I remember so many times sitting with my friends, like, what's the I'm going to be like? You know, and then now it's like I get to be in and it's, I get to control what it's going to be like. So it's going to be good. And people are gonna be ready. <laughs> I get to quote you on that, Tyler. Yeah. Um, do you have any friends that you grew up that are working in the industry now that are kind um, of following in your footsteps? No, <laughs> I've had but so I bet many you get asked people, every you know? day if you can get somebody a job, don't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, every day, every day. <laughs> and I get a job. Oh, please hook me up with a job. Come on. I'm like, I don't even know how I landed this job. I just started being a geek and they liked it. So, well, working with uh, Dash and Olivia Coolander over at Boo Jump. That's got to be pretty cool because I know Dash and Olivia, they know their stuff. So you got to be picking yep. up some new stuff awesome. every day too, right? Yeah, I feel like I'm learning something new every single day. It's really cool because like I, I wanted to go into college for this and you can't really do that. But now I feel like I am. So it's like I know things that they don't know and they know a lot that I don't know. So it's like I'm learning new things every single day. It's yep. really awesome. The school of hard nugs, man. Yes. <laughs> Um, what pharmacies have you been visiting here in Utah? Do you go to the pharmacy at all or? Yeah, I'm, I'm set up for Dragonfly. They're the closest to my house. Um, so yeah, that's where I've been getting my medication from. Right on. And working in the industry, I bet it'll be pretty exciting walking through those front doors and seeing products that you built, designed, created, right? Yeah, that'll be pretty unreal. It's coming up soon. So I'm, I'm excited. It's like walking um, into the big leagues for the first time for that first pitch, I suppose, huh? Yeah, absolutely. I guess that would be the equivalent. <laughs> you know that I'm always curious, again, talking with the weed nerds, again, mostly for personal reasons. I want to know what's your favorite strains? What, what's your go-to for medical reasons? Um, that orange Skittles we're going to be washing, I was, uh, I was so excited when we went and picked that out. Anything with kind of a tangy turt profile for me specifically is great. I get a lot of anxiety, depression, and I've got stomach problems. And for some reason, those kind of sativas really seem to get me out of my head. And, and I know that's not the case for a lot of people. Some sativas for some people is death. Like that's going to give you anxiety. So it's, it's important to find out what works best for you. But I think depending on what I'm looking for, but yeah, like that orange Skittles, I'm beyond excited about. I will probably pick up a lot of that for myself. Yeah, no, you, you and I sound a lot alike, and so I, I, I've yet to try this. I'm going to have to check it out, and yes. we've been doing strain reviews and product reviews, really, for products that are available in Utah pharmacies, and I'm excited that we get to finally try some of yours, um, especially with, with the new pharmacy that's opening up here soon. Yeah. Uh, you know, working in the industry, we – we get a different perspective than maybe some of our audience that are looking from the outside in. 
uh, what's going on with our current program. And you were probably just old enough to vote when Prop 2 was on the ballot, right? Yeah. So you were able to vote for yeah. Prop 2? Yeah. I, yeah I I'm not even going to ask which way you voted because I think it's pretty obvious. Um, but obviously we've had some shakeups since the election went down, since Prop 2, Prop 2 was introduced to, to Utah. Yeah. What would you say to ease people's minds that feel all hope is lost in our program and it's not going the way oh, they want? We haven't. That's, I mean, whatever rules and regulations we have to follow as of now, we have it. That's our foot in the door. and We're just going to continue to prove that cannabis is an amazing medicine. And they're going to not be able to say no some things soon because it's just, it's, it's really important that people have every option they need as far as getting the, getting medicated in the way they need. So with these vapables that will be available, like the hash rosin, I think a lot of people are going to see relief a lot quicker than they have with maybe some of the products they've tried in the past, which I'm just so excited for. Well, and maybe that's one thing you have to reassure our, our new Utah green scene, because a lot of, People like you and I, we've dabbled. We've we've spent a lot of money in outside state recreation um, doors, and we've dabbled with this stuff. But people that haven't tried concentrates, it's a little bit scary for them. What would you tell the new user on uh, about concentrates to ease their mind? You know, start slow. It's the same substance you've been using this whole time. Don't get intimidated. It's just the concentrated version. So start small and see how it does for you. You know, you just got to figure out your dose. And with cannabis, I've always learned you always just want to start out with a smaller dose because you can always take more. You can never take less. So, <laughs> yeah, just uh, start off with some small dabs. Don't go for the globs right away. Don't go for those globs, you know. And I grew up in Reno. And when medical first started going around there, you could grow – if you were a medical patient, I can't remember if it was 10 or 12 plants you're allowed to have on your, your private property. Um, but a lot of my friends started making dab and extracts and concentrates. And I think that's another misconceived notion about people like you is that you're in a lab getting ready to blow it up, working with butane. And you guys are working with some really cool equipment that's, that is safe. You're, you're working it's with strangely safe to break stuff down, not hot temperature, but cold temperatures mostly, right? Yeah, so our ethos, our ethanol extractor is running at negative 80 degrees. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I, I feel pretty safe in here every day. I mean, all of our equipment is just top notch and Utah's done a good job with coming in and setting rules and regulations that are gonna keep people safe. So I would say to anyone that's bummed that uh, butane hash oils aren't gonna be available on the market, like it's a good thing. They're concerned about the people producing it and they're also concerned about the, the consumer at the end of the day because it really is when you make a hydrocarbon extract to get all of that hydrocarbon back out is just nearly impossible and that's not something we want to be doing for our medical patients so no and frankly when it comes to shopping on the black market which we have all done you know since forever since up until here recently i feel comfortable buying flour on the black market mostly because i can see the product you know it's Sure, there's not testing done, but when it comes to the concentrates, you really have no idea what you're buying on a black market. Black market concentrates are very dangerous. I mean, if it's done properly, whatever, right, you can maybe get some good stuff. But here's the thing. You never know if that had powdery mildew, mold. You don't know if it, it has been washed in, like, hydrogen peroxide. There's so many just crazy things that a grower can do because they think it's a good idea. And if right. they're not being regulated and watched, like we have the plant materials tested and then each phase along the process is tested. So it's like, we are sure that there's no contaminants and nothing in there that we don't want in our medicine. And that excites me as a consumer because yeah. not every time as savvy as I've gotten on the black market in my years, I don't know my grower. I don't know who's making my products. And now I do. And because of the testing that's there, I, I know what I'm consuming that you made is safe. Yeah, absolutely. Um, with, you know, with that being said, um, what other things here in the future can, you know, products aren't available yet on the shelves. I know they will be here shortly. Um, a lot has to go into the state testing as pharmacy doors start to open up. Um, 
but again, I guess the first products that we'll be trying of yours will again be at standard wellness or standard yeah. Yeah, right, in the coming weeks, right? Yep, very soon. So they'll be getting a batch of that purple punch um, really soon. So if, if anyone wants that purple punch, that's where they need to go. Be lined up. It's probably going to sell out that day. That would yeah. be my guess. We're going to be sending down our strain reviewer, Larson Quick, down there to get yeah i love larson i've met larson so oh yeah and he's yeah he said a lot of great things he lives in well not in your neck of the woods but he's in oakley so yeah nearby heber but to the lab yep i guess that's another weird thing is did you ever anticipate in your years of growing up in the valley in salt lake that you'd be driving to heber to work for your cannabis job probably no. a lot of people in the neighborhood don't know what you guys are doing over there do they yeah, it's really crazy. I mean, like, we don't have any big signs or anything out, outside. It's just kind of like a small little area with a bunch of buildings. So no one really knows what we're doing in here. Yeah. Um, when I first rolled up, though, I opened that door. You know with the smell. I mean, if you know, you know. Just a wall of terpenes just hits you. But, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. I've got a beautiful drive. I mean, some people wouldn't like an hour-long commute, right? But since I love my job so much, I think it's just worth it, man. I just get to kind of meditate on my way to work, look at the lakes, look at the beautiful Utah nature. And it, it just makes me grateful that I'm still here in Utah doing this and didn't have to move to do this. So it's wonderful. No, I agree. And I, again, I, I'm so excited that we get to keep the talent here in Utah now, that things are evolving. And we're not going to lose you again to California, Colorado, maybe in the future, who knows? But it's good to know that we've got people that are, passionate about this for one and two have the knowledge and they're sticking around doing the thing so i i can't thank you enough tyler for doing what you do and you have to make sure that you keep us in the loop and let us know so we can let our audience know when these great concentrates are going to be coming out um, yeah. one of the personal reasons i need to know but also we got to let our audience know as well um so yes. go ahead tyler Oh, yeah. Well, anyone who is excited maybe about our solventless line but doesn't want to vaporize their product, we're going to be working on lozenges very soon. So you'll be able to get that uh, oral absorption through your salivary glands of our solventless products, hopefully. Right, so, that's, yeah. that's important, too, to point out is that it's not just the, the butters, the live rosins. You guys are doing a lot of different products because, again, you're, you're producing medical products and keeping things full spectrum for the novice to the experienced user, I think is very important, but just gotcha. having those options, you know, options, 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 because it, it breaks my heart when I hear of patients that live in Ogden, Salt Lake City, that still don't have the products they need to help with their, their ailments and they still have to go out of state to get them. And these interviews, I just think helps reassure that they know that they have people like you working hard day in and day out to bring those products and they will be here available or soon yeah i mean i was in that position where i only wanted top quality rosin so i was leaving the state for it but that's exactly why i'm working my butt off to bring it here so people don't have to do that anymore right well tyler keep up the great work thanks again for being on with salt Lake city we will have you on in the future to talk about what one of our favorite weed nerds is doing on the other side of the wasatch so cool Enjoy the rest of your week, Tyler. Keep up the great yeah, work, well. and uh, thanks again for bringing the fire to uh, Utah's green scene. Yeah, thanks for your time. I hope everyone's excited. Oh, we are, my man. Enjoy your day. Oh, you too. All right. Bye.